Hello and welcome to 369 Divine Tarot. My name is Shartina and this is going to be a general love reading for you today. I did not expect it to be a love reading. I just asked your spirit guides and guardian angels what they wanted my viewers to know. So the first cards that came out for you were Blossoming and Trust. Um, cards number 32 and 33. So that's pretty big right there. I feel like there's trust blossoming in this relationship that you're in, but there are a few hiccups as well. Your other energies, well, at the bottom of that deck, you had discernment. So there's something that may be bothering you and you're trying to figure out what's what is kind of what I feel like. You have to use your discernment so that you are not deceived in a situation is what I'm picking up here. But you also have to use your discernment so that you don't deceive yourself. I feel like this is an energy of self-sabotage in this connection. You have a year from now, which was at the bottom of the Angel Answers deck. So whatever this is, it could be happening a year from now or something big could be happening a year from now. Um, you have ask your angels, ask your angels for guidance and support, ask your angels to help you discern what it is that you need to be clear on so that you can trust your intuition a little bit more. Let go of something that is not serving you. You have let go. You also have be assertive. So I feel like spirit wants you to do this now so that you can save your relationship and it can last a year from now and it'll still be in place. So let go of the fears that you have. Let go of your insecurities. Let go of playing the blame game. Let go of whatever it is that is holding you back and stopping your relationship from getting to the next level or just being a nice uh, smooth ride. I mean, we, we all have ups and downs in our relationships, right? But this one doesn't have to be so bumpy. So you have the Ace of Wands. That is a beautiful new beginning. That is a blessing. This is a fiery, passionate, grounded, and stable relationship that you have found yourself in here. But I just feel like someone may not realize that at this moment. You have the Page of Cups. This is a nice offer of emotions. This is someone who is open to their emotions and they are handing them to you, handing you their heart is what I like to say. Then you have the four of wands. This could be a nice, happy home. This is the castle here, but right next to it, you have the empress in the reverse. And that's what lets me know that this is a bit of self-sabotage. You have the two of cups in, in the reverse. So this is a divine partnership. This is a divine union, but the relationship is going through a few changes right now because someone is very insecure and may not even recognize their own insecurities. All right. At the bottom of the deck, you have the star card. So this is for you. This is a blessing. If you're wondering if this is the person that you're meant to be with, yes, it is. It is a blessing. If you're wondering if this person is doing sneaky things behind your back, no, they are not. This is a relationship that was handed to you straight from the divine, straight by divine intervention in your life so that you can have a more fulfilling experience because of the lessons that you've learned. So everything that you've went through so far led you up to the divine giving you this, this love, you being led to each other. The star card, it's a beautiful card of pouring into each other. It's also an Aquarius card. So you may be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius. And then you have for your angel um, power tarot cards by Riley Valentine, you have card number 20, new beginnings. It says starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Learn from your past. Learn from your previous mistakes. If you've ever wondered, or if you're if you're the type of person who has found yourself repeating the same types of relationships over and over again with a different person, I am very sorry to say, but it's time for you to take a look at yourself and figure out what it is that you're bringing 
into the relationship? What energy are you in? What things are you telling yourself in your head? What insecurities do you have that put you at a certain vibration that won't allow you to call in anything higher than the vibration of the person you know, then the vibrations of the types of relationships that you're experiencing at this moment. Everything that we do, everything that we experience comes from our own energy. So if you're having those negative thoughts in your head, if you are have a little bit of baggage from previous relationships, if someone has cheated on you, gaslighted you, been narcissistic towards you, toxic towards you in any way, or even things from your childhood, those are the types of vibrations that you need to cleanse so that you can call in someone that does not match that vibration, that does not match your level of pain, that does not match your level of insecurity, all right? Uh, well, actually they will, but it'll be higher. So those things will be erased and all that will be able to be left is love, which is the highest vibration. And that is what you want to experience here. I'm feeling you want to experience pure, true love. And it can be all yours at the very moment that you remove what it is that is holding you back, that you raise those vibrations, that you go and you close your eyes, you meditate, and you face those situations that made you the way that you are today. Face those situations that were painful, that you held on to, and you've brought this far along. Re, 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 um, I'm sorry, this is what I'm trying to refile them. Put a file cabinet in your mind and file those bad memories away under a tab called solve. That is what I like to do. So if you go back and you sit through those memories and you're like, okay, you're experiencing the different, a different perspective of it now because it's not actually happening right now, right? It already happened. It's in the past. It's done and it's gone. The only thing that remains is the feeling and the thoughts, the emotions that you have for it. So put those feelings, thoughts, and emotions, and even those memories into a file folder in your brain, then stick that file folder in a file cabinet and lock it. Tell yourself that it is put away. It no longer serves you. Leave it behind in a file from the past. All right, so your advice, I think I read this one already, I did. New beginnings, I'm gonna read it again. It says starting a new life Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So when you go back with that different perspective, let it be a compa compassionate one. Let it be you seeing things from a different angle, so much so that you realize that hurt people hurt people. Everyone has their own things that they've been through, and I'm not excusing anyone's behavior, but everyone has something that made them the way that they are or who they are. No baby is just born, you know, with the intent to hurt other people. So then you have the two of Raphael. Once you've done those things and you've done the work to let go of what it is that you need to let go of that's holding you back, you have the two of Raphael. That is the two of cups upright. <laughs> so you've moved into this new energy that can happen for you here. It says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. And then you have the 10 of Michael. It says a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. I feel like this has everything to do with the past. And then you have the Ace of Ariel. It says, it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. You know why? You know why all of these things are happening now and things are ascending? Because you're moving out of the energy of the past. You're storing it away. You're putting it somewhere that it can't, emotionally attack you anymore, that it can't force you to stand on guard with every new person that you meet. Put your guards down. Keep your discernment. Of course, of course, keep your discernment, but let your guard down. All right. The last card you have 
Well, I'm sorry, it's not the last card. Let's get to these first. For your relationship, you have playfulness. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I can, I can almost barely see that there, but to shine, all right? And then you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there may be children of, involved in this relationship here. It could have something to do with your past. It could have been when you were a child. It could be your childhood uh, issues or memories that you need to work through that is stopping this connection from being fully connected, from advancing, from if the, the best way for you to get what it is that you want, because I can feel it. I feel it right now. The best way that it is for you to get what you want is to go back to those memories, face them, and then lock them away. Like a movie, just rewatch them from a different perspective of compassion. Realize that hurt people hurt people. Maybe you might even realize that some things weren't intentional, depending on the severity of the situation, because it could have just been how you took something, you know? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not excusing anyone's behavior to hurt you in any type of way. I'm just saying do the review so that you can figure it out on your own so that you can use your own discernment and look at everything from a new perspective because you've got some beautiful cards here. You've got the Ten of Michael. It shows me that you're going to do the work. You have new beginnings. You have the Two of uh, Raphael. You have the Ten of Michael. You know, you've got all of, you have the Ace of Wands, you have the Star. One year from today, your life can be so much different. So much different. And that is why Spirit is telling you here with this card, the Angel Answers cards by Rally Valentine, to be assertive. And to just let you know, the cards that are on the table that we're using right now, we have the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards. By Stacy DeMarco, we do have the Angel Answers cards by Radley Valentine. We have the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Radley Valentine, the A.E. Weight Holographic Tarot deck, and we have the Romance Angels cards up here by Doreen Virtue, I believe. I believe that's Doreen Virtue, right? Yep. Is it? Is it? Yep. Gotcha. So that's what we have, but what you need to do, if you really wanna change this, because I can feel how bad you want to change this. One year from today, do a one year challenge. One year from today, every day, or even every other day, face a new memory and put it away so that you can have the love that you seek. Not even just a love, romantic relationship, just the types of relationships that you seek in general. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? We're going to get one last uh, romance angel card for you. I should have paid attention to what was on the bottom of this deck, but maybe it wasn't meant for me to do that. Angels and spirit. Okay, you have... A few different ones that flew out here. You had three. You deserve love. That was the first card that came out. You deserve love. You are lovable. And I feel like you really need to know that. You really need to believe that so that you can go ahead and love yourself as well. Uh-oh. You have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I'm sorry. And then you have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I can't make this up, people. This is for you. I'm trying not to show my nails, but I know you need this message. And that is what I have for you today. Look, I know it's hard. I know it's not easy. It's not easy. But all you have to do is face those feelings, face those memories one more time in a different way this time. 
understand them differently. Give yourself a new perspective on the things that happened to you in your past that were unfair to you so that you can realize that maybe, just maybe, and, and please, I don't mean this in a bad way, maybe, just maybe, you have so many past traumas from dealings with people in life in general that it is making you a little bit of the toxic one. So pay attention because there could be a little bit of toxicity that you're bringing into these relationships too. And I know you feel like you may be giving your all, you know, I know you feel like you may be, oh my God, I'm so tapped into your energy right now. Like, I just want to cry. Like, I, I can, I feel you. I feel you. Um, but you've got this. You can do this. You are lovable. You are lovable. You deserve love. Okay? You deserve love. You. You deserve love. All right, I think that is all that I have for you today. Please stay blessed. Please keep your hearts and your minds open. Use your discernment and please love yourselves a little bit more, guys, because I can feel a whole of this and it's it's a bit overwhelming, but I love you. And um, I won't even talk to you about the things that I was going to talk to you about. Just make sure to like and subscribe if this message resonated with you so that I can pick up on your energies better for future ratings. All right, love and light, you guys. Until next time.